Stranded. Hello, and welcome to the second part of the Massive Loop SDK tutorial series. My name is David, and I will be guiding you through this second episode. Previously, we demonstrated how to install, set up the Massive Loop SDK, and upload your first world to the metaverse. In this tutorial, we'll go over the core Unity features that we can use to take our world to the next level without any Lua scripting. We will also be detailing what features are supported in a massive loop. Before we begin, it's important to note that if there are any questions during this tutorial, you can visit our Discord community server and ask in developer channels for help. With that out of the way, let's get started. Unity has a terrain system implemented that allows you to create many different kinds of landscapes. You can also add many other details on the terrain, like trees, rocks, or different materials. The terrain system is fully supported inside of Massive Loop. Physics allows objects within your world to be controlled by physical forces. Unity has support for many different kinds of physics systems, from joints to physics materials and collider types. This system is fully supported inside of Massive Loop, and the scripting API is fully implemented in the Massive Loop SDK. Layers are a very flexible system within Unity, and are very important as they allow you to optimize your project and overall workflow in many different ways. In a massive loop, there are specifically defined layers dedicated to controlling how objects interact with each other. They can be used to indicate whether an item is a UI element, a volume for post-processing, or setting climbable layers to certain objects to give players more ways to move through your environment. It is important to use these layers properly. Layers 21 to 31 are reserved as user-defined layers. These layers can be used for your own purposes. Unity has an advanced particle system that can be utilized in a number of different ways to achieve a variety of graphical effects. This particle system is fully supported in the Massive Loop SDK. Later on in this series, we will use the particle system to achieve many different effects like muzzle flashes and object hits. Audio sources can be used to play many different sounds in your scene, and they can also support different filters and effects. They can also be controlled by audio mixer groups, which allow you to categorize certain audio sources together and adjust their volume. You can use Massive Loop's predefined audio mixer group, provided with the SDK, to put sounds in their respective groups such as background music or sound effects. Assigning the Massive Loop Mixer to an audio source means that these sounds can all be controlled in-game through the settings menu. We will also be using the Audio Scripting API later for playing sounds during scripted events and interactions. The Unity Animation System can be used to add movement to your world. These animations can be as simple as translational object movements, or they can be as complex as fully realized character animations. This animation system is supported inside of Massive Loop, and the scripting API is fully implemented, which we will be using to play animations on objects during interactions. The Unity Timeline Sequencing System is a simple but powerful tool that allows you to create complex sequences by blending many of the different core features we discussed, plus much more. Once again, this system is also supported in Massive Loop along with the scripting API. We will utilize these later on for some scripted interactions. The video player component will allow you to play video clips within your world. These video clips can be imported and played inside your project, or you can stream them through video links online. Within the Massive Loop SDK, this video player is extended with the ML Video Extension component for usage inside of Massive Loop, such as synchronized playback across multiple clients. Render textures are a Unity feature that will allow you to render what a particular camera is viewing onto a texture that can then be displayed. This feature is compatible within Massive Loop. Custom shaders can be created to simulate graphical effects within your world. The scope of the shaders that you can create is boundless, and they are supported in the Massive Loop SDK. As of the current alpha build, Massive Loop supports Unity 2020 and requires the use of single-pass instanced shaders. By default, Unity built-in shaders support this automatically. However, custom shaders will require some additional tweaks in order to be supported in single-pass instanced VR. 
Unity has a very powerful and flexible lighting system that allows us to light the world in any way we see fit. All of the different lighting styles and modes are compatible with the Massive Loop SDK. Some of the lighting system also has API for controlling lights, and these are also supported in the SDK. Post-processing is a collection of graphical effects that are meant to change how a scene looks after it is rendered. This can be utilized to improve the overall visuals of your world. It is important to note that since Massive Loop is a VR experience, you may want to implement these cautiously and keep the usage light as they can prove to be quite costly in terms of performance. For example, avoid using ambient occlusion as it is not supported in single pass instance VR and it is also very expensive. Additionally, please do keep in mind that custom post-processing effects will not be supported by Massive Loop. Occlusion culling will reduce rendering computation by hiding particular objects that are out of view from your camera, helping to save on resources for a better experience. This system is fully supported within Massive Loop. Because the Massive Loop SDK is Lua only, Unity's native C Sharp scripting is not supported at runtime for worlds. However, C Sharp scripting can still be used for the creation of in editor tools to help with asset creation or for prototyping things in the editor. And there we have it. That is all of our core Unity features that we have explored and can implement without any Lua scripting. In our next tutorial, we will come back to start leveraging the Massive Loop SDK features and components such as SDK Grab, the ML Synchronizer, Portals, and much more. We will see you in the next tutorial.